Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Wednesday, July 1st. Amazingly, tomorrow's Thursday, even though it'll feel like a Monday. The upside is, it's a two-day week. Our worship this evening, it comes from the Book of Common Prayer and is found on page 722. As we are in God's presence at the end of a day, let us take a moment to be still and be present before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 134, found on page 504. Psalm 134, page 504. We shall say the psalm together. Behold now, praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and praise the Lord. The Lord that hath made heaven and earth give thee blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the... Um, pardon me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I knew I should have taken a nap this afternoon. Our Gospel reading tonight comes from the Gospel of Matthew, beginning in the 21st chapter, at the 33rd verse. Listen to another parable. There was a landover who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. The tent seized the slaves and beat one and killed the other and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves more than the first, and they mistreated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what do you think he'll do to these tenants? They said to him, He will put those wretched wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to another tenant who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never heard the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken into pieces and will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Lictus Antiterminum. 
Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize, tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. On the top of page 726, we confess our sins against God and our neighbor as we say together. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, who grant you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. The Collect for this week. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom thou hast given a hearty desire to pray, 
may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy, that thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chance of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you at this time to offer your prayers and concerns to, before God, either aloud or in the comments box, so we may join with you in praying for specific people and situations, or in the silence of your heart. As so we pray this night for all who are affected by this pandemic, for those who are sick and in hospital, for those who are separated from loved ones because of it, for those who are tending to their needs and cares, the doctors, the nurses, medical workers, caregivers, for those who are in prison and not able to see loved ones, for those who tend to all who are seeking treatments at this time, be it for addictions or medical reasons, and for the special care and protection they have to give for the people at this time. We pray for all who suffer from addictions, praying for all who suffer and are lost during the opioid crisis that's continuing in this country. Pray for all who struggle with addiction and for those who are looking for help and finding it difficult. On this day in which we celebrate this nation, we pray for those who are on the margins of society, for those whom uh, we tend to forget and, and walk past. Praying for those who are homeless, are out sleeping in the rough, for those who try to minister to them and tend to their needs, for those who volunteer in food banks, soup kitchens, uh, th thrift stores, uh, and all those places uh, of ministry that try to alleviate the plight of the, the, the poor. We pray for those who suffer from discrimination, for those who are trying to work towards reconciliation, and for all of us to become more self-aware and, and willing to break down the walls that exist within our own hearts and lives. We pray for those who lead us. We think of those in municipal and, and small community uh, um, leadership, for mayors, councils, chiefs, and band members, for our provincial leaders, thinking of uh, Dr. Bonnie Hunt, Minister of Health Dix, and Premier Horgan, praying for those on the national level, for the ministers and our prime minister, for those who lead us internationally in the United Nations, in the World Health Organization, and for all those who are trying to work collaboratively to, to resolve issues with the, this pandemic. We pray for those who also lead us in, in commerce and industry, for those who run small businesses and, and are stressing and fretting about how to keep the doors open, for those who uh, run multinational corporations as well, for, for everyone to be mindful of the common good and, how, and the need to treat staff well and protect them, especially the migrant workers that we rely upon in this country. 
We pray for the leaders in the church, giving thanks today for the wonderful gospel jamboree, for the many people who participated in that. Sadly, my internet froze up partway through and it took me over half hour to get back up and running again. Uh, and I missed a chunk, but it was a wonderful uh, celebration in many ways and an awesome response uh, and, and being able to come together uh, in a way we haven't before and blessings are coming out of this time indeed. And we give thanks for Archbishop Mark McDonald's leadership and for all those who, who work to bring that together and for an ongoing work uh, that, that is there um, within Indigenous uh, communities and within uh, relations between Indigenous communities and, and settler communities. We pray for all those who are um, struggling this night, and I think of those who are grieving, those who have lost loved ones, for those who are sitting beside beds of those who will not survive the night. And in balance, I heard the statistic that there's 250 babies born every minute on this planet, and for all those children that they may be welcomed into loving, caring families with much excitement and, and joy. So we pray for all those things and for that which you have named, and I will join into praying along with you uh, after when I can actually read the text. Let us offer this general intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, Support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us and those that have desired us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard their prayer, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we take a moment to bring before God our thanksgivings for this day and offer before God uh, an act of praise as a way of, of giving our thanks and acknowledging the blessings that we have for our struggles with, uh, with what it means to be Canadian, uh, which seems to be a very Canadian thing to do. Uh, we, we give thanks for not being in other countries um, and, and not having open civil war and, and not having had civil war, um, not having some of the other struggles. Um, while we are not a perfect place, we, we are better in some ways. So giving thanks for what we are as a nation and for who we are and being able to rejoice in that at least. We pray for, uh, we, we give thanks for the, as I said earlier, the ministry and mission of uh, Archbishop Mark McDonald and the Indigenous Ministries and the joyous celebration that the Gospel Jamboree was today and, and seeing uh, the people come together from across Canada singing hymns of praise and it was delightful. And I give thanks for all who minister in the name of Christ within this diocese and across this land. So let us offer up. Oh, and there's a lovely day out today. Uh, a bit overcast, really windy here right now in Terrace. So I'm hoping uh, doors won't slam during this service. So let us offer up our thanksgiving. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest. 
For all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women, we praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On the bottom page, 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us this night and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening for our service. I pray that tomorrow you will come and join us again at 8 a.m. Pacific for morning prayer from St. Mark's Dawson Creek with Pastor Don. At some point during the day, uh, uh, Pastor, uh, pardon me, Pastor Don, you'll find on their Facebook page. Father Wilfred, you'll find at some point during the day on the Bulkley Valley Facebook group leading us in a devotional. And then at 12.15 from St. Andrew's Cathedral in Prince Rupert, the Dean will lead us in midday prayer. I'll be back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for another service of Compline, and I invite you to join me then. May God grant you a peaceful night, some excellent dreams, and a joyous day tomorrow. Amen. Nighty night.